time for our weekly arts and culture segment. As always, we have our culture correspondent, Song Yujin, in the studio. Welcome, Yujin. Great to be here, Tongmin. What do you have for us today? Well, Tongmin, I'm pretty sure you're aware of the phrase, once in a blue moon, right? Yeah, you say that to describe something that doesn't happen very often. Well, you're exactly right. So as you might guess, it's really rare to spot a blue moon, as you can see from the phrase. And some people might have never seen a blue moon before. But on Thursday night, the world saw an even rare phenomenon called a super blue moon making its appearance for the first time in years. So for this week, marking the occasion, I visited the Kwacha National Science Museum and watched the moon rise. Let's take a look. Brighter than a regular full moon, the super blue moon rose for the first time in five years on Thursday, shortly after sunset. What exactly is a super blue moon? Super moon is a full moon at the closest distance from the Earth. So it is larger and brighter than a standard full moon. Blue moon is the second full moon on the one calendar moon month. According to NASA, a supermoon is about 14% larger and 30% brighter than a micromoon, a full moon at the farthest point in its orbit around the Earth. And it's worth noting that a blue moon is not actually blue. As Dr. Cho said, it signifies a second full moon within a single calendar month. A full moon generally occurs once a month, but because the moon cycle is 29.5 days, a full moon falls twice within the same month every two or three years. Around 25 percent of all full moons are supermoons, and only 3 percent are blue moons. So a super blue moon, which has both of these uncommon traits, is more exceptional. So it's almost nine on a weekday morning, but as you can see, hundreds of people have gathered here at the Kwacha National Science Museum, south of Seoul, to see the rise of the super blue moon. Now that's because if you lose this chance, you'll have to wait almost 14 years. All you had to do was look up into the sky. Adding to the view was the appearance of the planet Saturn to the upper right of the moon. That's because Saturn was in its closest position to the Earth a few days ago. These celestial displays illuminated not just the sky, but also sparked excitement among visitors. And it was really cool because no one knew where the moon was until it started like coming up over the mountain. Um, and then seeing it through the telescope was amazing. You could see like all the craters and then like the cloud was covering the moon. It was really cool. I wish it for my family's well-being while looking at the moon. I hope my kids are always healthy. I hope I no longer fight with my sister. The next super blue moon is set to come in January 2037. You know, I also observed, witnessed a super blue moon yesterday, and I could say it was it looked bigger than usual. What did you think of it? Well, Tommy, first of all, it was my first time going to an observatory to take a look at the moon. So this overall experience of covering this story felt really, really new to me. And as for the super moon, blue moon, just like you've said, I also thought the moon this time was bigger and brighter than the full moons that I've seen before. And it was really interesting. So I took a lot of photos. So here's a photo I took with my phone of the super blue moon yesterday. And as soon as the moon began rising, people started to ooh and ah like they would at a firework display and after the moon rose up hundreds lined up to use the telescope for a closer look and most of them were constantly taking pictures with their phones to capture this rare sight and the National Science Museum also prepared an array of activities for people who was who were waiting to see the moon rise like making your own moons of Toro, a mug with your drawings of the Sun moon and planets and also a meteorite hunting out on the grass field too a fantastic shot you got there and it's that the next super blue moon won't be observed until 2037 does that mean we have to wait 14 years well there is no need to be disappointed because we've actually seen three super moons so far this year so the most recent one which we saw yesterday it drew more attention because it was a super blue moon so it was a super moon but it was at the same time a blue moon as well and adding on to that a blue moon is a constant not a trait as i mentioned in my report as it refers to the number of full moons within a single month so this means that the upcoming super moon on september 29th will be as grand as as luminous as this one. And I also want to mention that September supermoon will be the fourth and final supermoon of 2023, so don't miss it. All right, great reporting. Thanks, Eugene. Thank you.